All right, guys, got a quick tip for you today on sensors. Uh, that's something I don't see people using a whole lot, but it does have some really nice benefits. You know, specifically if you're doing, you want to see if things are interfering, you could set up like a, a sensor for interference detection that would actually tell you like essentially live whether or not the things are, are interfering, right? Shows me all of these interferences. Um, though you could do maybe another one, right? So maybe an, another one that would be even easier. And you can get to these sensors, I believe on the evaluate tab, there's an option for sensors right here. Um, or I always have my, my folder showing to you. You can just like right click on it and add a sensor. Um, maybe an easy one to do here would be with mass. So you could set up a sensor to say like, well, you know, if it's over 10,000 pounds that I can't load it on a truck. So we could just put in 10,000 there. Hit OK. We can see that it's valid. And then, you know, if we were to maybe add a couple of things here, maybe add a couple more of these frames. Let's see where we end up with our, our mass here. Just doing a quick rebuild. And there we go. We're at 12,000 pounds now. So um, you can also configure these uh, sensors. There's a, a section for notifications. Or you can say, you know, after so many saves, it will notify you or how, however many rebuilds. So it's not constantly notifying you about these. So hopefully this is something you guys can use. There's all sorts of different things that you can use these sensors for. So um, check them out.